Hey, what's up guys? Robert here. Just got done with six miles for a attempted run with little to zero training. So this was uh, <laughs> something that I, I re kind of regret. Um, I, my initial plan was to do about a 5K, 3.2 miles. Started running from my home, got about three miles out. Felt really good um, and I just never stopped. So I just never turned around. And then I started to notice blisters, started to notice uh, hamstrings tightening up. So it probably wasn't a good idea to go that hard, and especially with my weight right now, about 220. So obviously I like to run probably around 205, 210 at the most. And so right now I'm a little overweight, a little fat, so I'm trying to lose some of that. But uh, as you all know, it takes time to do that. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through my recovery process because I'm gonna be feeling it tomorrow. I can already tell I, I, my, artery, my hamstrings are aching. I got a huge blister on my foot, which I'll show you all in a second. But uh, let me just kind of walk you through kind of as soon as I get home. I've already changed shirts, obviously. So I just got home, I just changed shirts. I was completely drenched, it's Texas heat. And it's been raining here a little bit lately, so it's not that hot yet. But yeah, I was completely drenched, miserable on the way back. I had to walk, so I ran 3.2 miles. Ran about four coming back over the dam here in Georgetown, Texas, and then I had to start walking. Um, I didn't walk the whole time. I did uh, two, uh, two, uh, two minutes of running, one minute walk. So I did about a two to one interval split. And uh, eventually though, my blister on my foot, my right foot got so bad, I had to um, I had to walk eventually. I had to, I actually had to change socks, switch feet, thinking that would help. But uh, I guess the blister on my foot was already too bad at that point. But anyways, let me walk you through kind of my process for recovery, um, what I'm doing as far as nutrition goes, what I'm doing as far as stretching goes. Hopefully this video helps. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below and always subscribe so we can help this, uh, help more people view this content and hopefully get better outcomes with their health and better health optimization. So thanks guys for joining me and let's take you inside. All right, so we're inside the house. My wife's probably gonna kill me for how the house looks. We have two little kids, so excuse the mess, guys. But uh, as soon as I get home, I always spray myself with colloidal silver. So I spray my face like this. This is something I've been doing since I was in high school. No, no, college. Uh, I've always suffered from pretty bad acne. So this is something I do. And it really helps um, with the acne breakouts. You know, after working out, I always found that if I didn't shower right after, I would break out. If I drink dairy or excessive amount of dairy or whatever, I would break out. And uh, silver seal and spray, this is just a, a brand I'm using, but uh, you can use any kind of colloidal silver from what I've found. I used to go to vitamin shop and get colloidal silver all the time, and I just, um, as soon as I got out of the shower, or as soon as I get done with the workout, I spray my face with this, okay? So, for, as far as recovery goes, I'm gonna try to get a lot of water in and some electrolytes. I probably sweated out of like one or two pounds of water, probably in my run, completely drenched. So I'm gonna grab some water, some electrolytes, and I'm gonna show you my pantry where all the supplements are. Here's the pantry. Where all of my supplements are. It's ridiculous, I know. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I have an absurd amount of supplements, as you can tell. Uh, what am I going to do after this run? I'm pretty sore, so um, one product I'm gonna use is immunoglobulins. A lot of studies have shown athletes get some tests on permeability, so any kind of bad toxin that's in your body can get further into the bloodstream if that happens. So I'm taking some of these for sure. I'm gonna take some protein. I'm gonna take this inflammatory product, which I love. Anti-inflammatories. I'm probably gonna stick with these two right here. And probably some noon tablets. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yep. All right, so I got two shaker cups here. Got my almond cashew, right? Because I told you, told you guys I'm allergic to dairy sometimes. Not allergic, it just causes a break off my face, which nobody likes, especially when you're 34 years old. So putting this into the smoothie, about eight to 10 ounces. That's actually all I have left right there. Got my Flamacore, which is also dairy free. Vanilla chai, you can see that golden spice flavor. It actually tastes really good. And then I'm doing five grams of serum derived immunoglobulins. Again, 
Most immunoglobulins are derived from colostrum, which is dairy-based. No dairy here. Not today, anyways. Okay. All right. I got my new, I got my vitamins, everyday wellness. Just really trying to get some electrolytes in to stay hydrated. Dropping everything. All right, so I just drank my Inflamacore and Immunoglobulin smoothie. It's Sunday here in the Fredericton house. We got Baby Brooks here. Baby Brooks wants to show y'all something. These are some of the treats that my wife and my three-year-old made. We got cinnamon rolls. What do you call Natalie? Egg bites. We got egg bites, which I'm probably gonna eat. I've already consumed about 25 grams protein. No, 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 probably 35 with the uh, almond coconut milk and uh, I might even have one of these cinnamon rolls because I ran a lot so um, come join us into the garage we're gonna do the stretch and guys stretch right after the run I'm telling you right now because in my experience if you don't stretch right after that stretch becomes never and then tomorrow you're gonna really feel it so follow me uh, into the garage where me and Brooksy right here are gonna do a few little stretches All right, guys, hope you all found the video helpful. I got some ice cold water here, and I'm about to spray my three-year-old, or four-year-old. Bear! You better run!